Hello everybody, how are you guys today? I am super fantastic. Um, I just want to touch base with you guys because I know I haven't done a floss tube for a few weeks and I wanted to do some haul and a new bag and even some finishes. Um, first off, I would like to thank everyone for all of their support and love that I have gotten from Facebook, from Instagram, from my Etsy shop. I really am blessed and I'd like to thank every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for all of the support and buying my bags, all the nice compliments, all of my nice comments. I really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and um, I, I'm gonna have a small bag parade. I am also, but I'm gonna have a huge haul parade, okay? Because remember, a couple of days ago, me and my friend, Kathy, fans, I call her Fancy Kathy, she does all these great um, stitches from, um, uh, um, all these great stitches for, we call her Fancy Kathy, because she does great stitches, stitches from Sue Spargo. Um, she went to a couple of Sue Spargo classes. I know that, um, Lisa over at Primitive Gathering will be offering some of Sue's coming into town and she is going to be offering some um, some classes so in March of 2023. So if you guys are interested and you want to come out and meet me and and be taught by Sue Spargle, um, call, the, call the gathering. Um, I will supply the phone number and ask for either Judy or Gloria and they'll set you up. And, uh, and but I know I'm going, so I am super excited because you know I love stitching. Whether what it, it doesn't matter, you know, uh, thread and needle, I like it all. So okay, so anyways, um, this is one of my finishes. Um, I had it on my Instagram uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I thanks to Vanna Pfeiffer's tutorial, I was able to make a drum. I was really happy with it. This pattern is from Primitive or Primrose Stitches um, or Prim, Prim Cottages. I think that's what their name is. Um, this, I thought it was really, really a cute pattern. It's got the bats on the top. It's got the really cool trees. It's got a really cool spider. Look at the spider. I love the spider. And then there's some really cool houses and another cool house, and another cool house, and the, the, the other trees. So the trees are standing, standing side by side. So, I, and it's got a hard bottom. I did make a couple of mistakes on it. I probably would not, um, I would have done it a little differently. The dome is a little small. Um, I pulled the dome too tight, making it a little, a little short. So when you guys do that from Vana, make sure you don't pull it as tight like I did, and I really gave it a really <laughs> tight drum. Um, but I really, really like it. It is super cute. I'm really, really happy with it. And, uh, the next one I'm going to do will be from, um, from Tiny Town. I'm going to do that one and I'm going to do a drum with it. And I think it's really cute. It's not the, uh, it's not, it's not the usual finish that I do in a frame or if you guys do frames and, and other fancy stuff. This is a drum and I have some, also some needles to go with it. So I'm gonna try and keep this as short and sweet as possible. Uh, personal note, I did get my hair cut. I got eight inches taken off, boom, gone. So I finally said enough is enough. I love long hair, but I don't like it that long. Um, this was, a, a, it was, it was, a, it was a shell shocker, boom. Eight inches is like, holy crap, eight inches. Uh, so it was, it was fun to go to her and I found a new beautician. Um, she's local, she's close by. So I'm able to just, you know, call her up and go, Hey, can you cut my hair? And I'm really, really thrilled with her. So she's doing, do, she's doing a really good job. And she also, um, she also highlighted it, which I was really super happy with. Love, love, love it. So anyways, here's my drum. That's one finish. I am not going to show any cross stitch. I, I know you guys follow me. Some of you guys follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I put it on there. I am doing fall on the farm series from Little House Needleworks. Um, I am have completed blocks one, two, three, four, and five. And I will, I'm working on number six. And I think it's a, a milk barn. 
I think that's what she's calling it. It's it's super super cute. It's got a it's got a barn. It's got a sign on it. It says milk, and then there's a tree, and there's a cow, and it's super super cute. So I'm hoping to finish that one up in a couple of days. Uh, I am doing it the long way, actually. I um, I know that she's done she does it three by three square. I'm doing it the long way. There's a gal over at the Stitching Bee. Her name is Karen, and she kind of showed me what she was doing, and she was doing it the long way, and I'm like. I got to do that. I want to do that. I want to do something different and I'm going to make a bell pull out of it. I think that would be super cool. And uh, I am going to buy a, a top with it. It's, it'll be so cool. I'm really, really excited about this. But anyways, okay. So you guys all know, I went to a quilt. I went to a quilt show and they haven't done the Madison quilt show in over three years because of the pandemic. And uh, this year they did it. And it was super fun, super packed. Kathy is this, is so much fun. She drove. I really appreciate it because Miss Grace had me up at like 1.30 that morning. And I was like, and Madison from Green Bay is probably about two and a half miles. Or excuse me, two and a half, I wish. Um, two and a half hours away. So uh, we she did all the driving and I really appreciate it. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, okay, so anyways. I'm super excited about all the stuff I bought. There wasn't a whole lot of cross stitch stuff, but there was, um, I was able to pick up some thread because I was looking for some thread. Look at the cute bag she put it in. I'm like, oh my God, that's such a cute bag. Thank you so much. I can't think of the shop I got it from, but I was really super excited. I got clockwork. It's for a pattern I want to do. I couldn't find any of this in my stash. So I bought clockwork and I'm going to stick it back into this cute little bag because I just thought this bag was adorable. And okay, so that's one. I have, if you guys watch me on Instagram, you saw all of the, saw a few of those places I went and we were having a ton of fun. I bought a lot of stuff. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, so then I bought, what else did I buy? Okay, so I'm going to take it out of the package as I go. So this was from Sawyer Creek Artistry. I'm going to give them a shout out. I bought that, I bought this from him. And it is a stiletto, because I use a stiletto. But if you guys know, if you have ever seen my stiletto, I use a pink one but I wanted something different. And this is a wood one and I really, really like it because my dad is a carpenter and I wanted something to resemble him. So one side is a stiletto, the other side is a ripper. So I got that from Sawyer Creek Artistry. Super excited about them. They are out, I don't, oh, Colum Columbia, Missouri. That's where they're from. He had so much stuff. He was so nice, so kind. I really love it. Um, actually, the one side of my pink stiletto, my pink um, cream ripper, I needed a ripper because the other one is really dull. And I said, uh, do you have another one? And he's like, sure. So then I got an extra one of those. So I have to replace that pink one. So as I go, anyways, everything is I'll be taking out of the bag. So there's going to be some rustling around in packages and bags. Um Okay, so this one, let's see, I want to do this one. This one I got, and this is super cute. I try and keep everything together. And, you know, this was a quilt, this is a quilt store out of um, Dullivan, Wisconsin. And this is a Alphabet Christmas um, Churn Dash Quilt Kit. And this kit includes the pattern, the fabrics for the topping, the binding. Oh, it's from the stitchery. She is so so sweet this is a panel of all the abcs so here is the here's the pattern here's the picture of it okay here's the picture of it that is the, the, and it what it is is alphabets i thought i can do that i can whip that up really really quick and it's alphabets look at how cool is that right oh wrong way and then there's some in here. And it's, it looks like it looks like it's all uh, um, applique, but it's not, it's it's a panel. And then she also had one for fall and she's gonna let me know, she's gonna email me and let me know if she has any more of the fall ones. And I told her, I said, I would buy that from her. So that is um, that is from the stitchery. I know I bought other stuff. I'm, going, I'm taking it out of the bag. So it's not only gonna be in order from all the stores I bought, so. Um, Please be patient with me. Okay. 
This one I'll try and keep in there. Okay, and this little cutie was a pillow. I thought this was the cutest little pillow. It is called the Quilting Cushion, and it is a motorized pillow. It's so cool. It vibrates. Can you hear it? So you put it on your back, and it vibrates, and it's so super cool. Oh my God, I was like, I need at least two. You can put one on your foot. He put one underneath my foot. He put one on my back, and I'm like, Oh my God. I was at the end of the day. I'm like, Oh, this is so wonderful. I'm like, I must have it. So, um, I know he's got a website. Uh, it's called my massage pillow official or, and you can go to, uh, my massage pillow.com and you can buy them there. And of course I got a little bit of a deal cause it was at a show. So I got an owl and then I got a leopard one. So I got two. So I put one under my foot and he's got them in these really cool plastic bags just the sweetest guy ever. Really, really nice guy. Him and his wife do this. And they were just, they were selling pillows all the time, all over the place. He didn't have much left. So I was really lucky to get this, um, this pillow. I was super, super excited about this. And I also got an adapter. It goes by two batteries. I feel like I'm talking really fast. It goes by two batteries, but I have an adapter and this way then it doesn't go on the batteries and, and it won't wear it out in case if I fall asleep on my chair or, you know, it's just so nice. It was like, oh, I just, I just sat back and went, Ugh. <laughs> so much fun. Okay. So I bought two pillows like this, the massage pillows, one for my foot, one for my back. Okay. Then I bought, um, okay. Then I went, oh, here, this is also from the stitchery. Okay. This is also from the stitchery. This is a, and I want to do this one. It's a Fall Melody Raggy Quilt Kit. And this is from the stitchery from um, Dullivan, Wisconsin. Look at these beautiful fabrics. And this is, um, this is flannel. Oh, I'm like, I have got to do that. They're nine inch squares. She's got the pattern in here. Um, they're nine inch squares. You cut them out, you do the nine inch square, you put a big X in it, and then you sew, sew the squares together and then you cut the ends and it's a rag quilt. You throw it in the dryer or the washer and the little quilts, um, or the little cuts, um, become like, uh, these really cool edges and it is so much fun. So I'm like, I have got to have this. I did take a picture of it on my Instagram. I took some video of it. I had to do this. I loved all of the colors. Look at all of these lovely colors. Super, super cool. I just had to do it. I'm like, oh, I needed this. Need, need, need it. Okay, so there was that. What else did I? Oh, and I bought two rulers from her. She sold, sells my favorite rulers, and I bought two of them. I bought the six inch by 30, by 24 inches. Um, love those rulers. I don't have it with me. I stuck them in my box because uh, sometimes they wear out for me because I cut and sew a ton of stuff. You guys know that with my bags and stuff. Oh, wow. Favorite, favorite, favorite um, rulers. I should make a video of um, all my favorite um, notions, but that is definitely one of my favorite notions. Um, anyways, so I bought two of those from her also. And I told her, I said, I am, her name is Nancy. I said, I am so coming down to see you because <laughs> I miss her. And she's got this cute little quilt store down in Dullivan. It's south of Milwaukee. Just the cutest store ever. I love it. I should, you know, I, I need to go there more often because I told her she's got the greatest stuff. She really does. Um, I think she has a website too. And I think she's also on Facebook. So, okay. So then I also bought, what else did I buy? Oh, I know what I got. Oh, I love this. So this is, uh, oh, I'm so excited about this. This was from uh, Granny Leg Legacy, Legacy um, Shop. This was the very last shop I went to, and I spent a lot of time in their booth. I did take a video of that one. It's on my Instagram. Um, I bought the Nordic Knoll 24 ornaments. So it, it has all of the, it has, it's a kit. So it has all the buttons. The only thing it doesn't have is the thread and the thread was either red or white. And I thought I can get that. I can get that down at primitive and, or, or in my own stash. So here are all of the, all of the, um, ornaments. I thought the ornaments were cute. There's a heart, there's a house, you know, an owl, 
you know, just simple, really, and they're wool. So if you guys are, you know, wanting to try some wool stuff, uh, go to Granny's Legacy and she can send this to you. Just the sweetest people ever. Just so, so kind. I was just so happy to go over there. She has got some great wool stuff. Um, I know she has a Facebook group. She also has an Instagram. And um, I did buy this one. So it, it will make 24 ornaments. Uh, there's a star, a mitten, a moon, a sock, a snowman. I mean, the list goes on and on. I just thought this was really cool. And also has the wool. It has the red wool and the off-white wool. Has the buttons, so I didn't have to worry about finding buttons because I said I might. I know that she just has the pattern, but I said, you know what? I said I'm going to buy the kit because this way, then I don't have to worry about trying to find buttons and thread and or um, you know, fabric. I thought I'm just going to buy it from her. So I just thought this was the coolest thing. So I bought this, and I also bought from them. And me and Kathy are going to do this one together. I took, I took a video of this one too. Okay, it's called the Flower Mart. And it's um, it's an oval mat. Look at it. And it's dimensional. So these flowers, you know, are... Um, these flowers, you you have to, like, um, starch them. And then they, like, pop right out of, the, out of the mat. It is beautiful, beautiful mat. I just thought that was so cool. There's some ribbon that goes in there. She's got beads and ribbon, all of the wool, the pattern, just, and I think she even said, no, not this one. There's some starchy stuff that you can use. Um, so I have that. I bought that. What else did I buy from her? Oh, she was so sweet. And I also bought this kit which had, oh, I know what this kit, this kit was the one with all of the red flowers on it. And I took that I, same video I have in my Instagram. Uh, I did a large one, a live one. And this one has, um, it's the rose, she called it the rose kit. And it's a complete, it's a complete kit. So there's um, thread in there. There's uh, the starch is in there because you have to starch the, oh yeah, this thing. Elaine stiffen quick. So it's got all the beads in it. Oh, here, here's the, um, here's the picture of it. Here it is. Here, look at this one. So cool. I was really happy to do that. Really, really excited to do that. Really super excited. Uh, it comes in a cute little box. I thought that was really, really cute. You know, I had to have this. I probably will be doing this around, um, after Thanksgiving, just because I I'll feel like, um, doing some stuff for, um, for Christmas, because I think it was kind of a Christmassy type of thing, but super cute. Oh my God, at Granny's Legacy, go there. <laughs> if you like wool, go there. Okay, so I'm, I'm running out of space here. Okay, they were, and they were so, so, so nice. Um, so they do have a brick and mortar store, this Granny Legacy. I just want you to know, they do have a brick and mortar store. She sent me a little thing here. Okay, she gave me that. So she has a brick and mortar store. It's in Albert Lee, um, uh, Minnesota. Um, she's open Monday through Friday, nine to four. And uh, great, great people. Just awesome people. Love, love, love them. Great humans. Love them. Uh, I can't, I can't say nice enough things about them. I had a blast, total blast at that, um, at that um, quilt store, quilt show. It took us all day to walk through there, and I could have probably spent another, you know, three or four more hours there. Just a ton of fun. Everything. Okay. Then they had, then I, what else did I get? Do, 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 do. No, I didn't get that. Here's Granny's red. I'm getting, that's that. Oh, and I also got, mm, I did get thread. Oh, this is for, yeah, this is the flower mark. So this was for thread for something. I can't remember. Oh, I know what this thread is for. This thread is for this kit. That's what this is for. So I did get thread. It's Feldani thread. So, and I like Feldani thread. There's, you know, what thread I don't, what don't, don't I like? <laughs> so that was fun. Okay, that was one bag. Here's a second bag. Now the second bag um, is called, there's a little shop up in Eagle River, Wisconsin, and it's called In the Wood, In the Woods. And in the, I'm sorry, it's called In the Wool. And 
Oh my God, love this pattern. This pattern was the cutest pattern ever. Look at, it's cross stitch and wool. Look at it. It it marries the two together. Oh my God, I'm like, I am going to do this. I bought a bunch of other fabrics to go with it. But look at, here is, okay, so here's the pattern and it goes with, and, it, and it's like, look at, it's wool that looks like cross stitch. It's probably more like 10 count, but it's so super cool. Um, I, so I will be posting this pattern on my website because it looks like a ton of fun. She supplied us um, with the pattern. <coughs> oh, excuse me. With the pattern, I got the the um, I got the wool. I got the thread, a needle. I mean, she had everything in there. Super cute. The pattern, um, just some, just a real. I think she has it on her website. I think it's like eleven dollars. Super cute. I plan on doing this, and you make a pillow out of it. See the pillow? Really, really cool. Here, let's see. Over here. Okay, super cool. So I bought that. I also bought this fabric, which is the same type of fabric. I thought maybe if I, I thought maybe I could find something or I could make some make a pattern with a pumpkin. How cool is that? Who has extra pumpkin, you know, uh, uh, thread? I know I do. <laughs> and it's and it. I mean, if you look at it, it looks just like cross stitch fabric. I mean, granted it's 10 count, but you know, cute. You make it into a pillow, an ornament, boom, done. Okay. So this is the same. And they also gave me a little free gift. Look at, look at me a little tape measure. I always keep a tape measure in my purse. So when I am places, I go, um, like just the other day, I whipped it out at Costco because I saw this really cool basket. It was 15 inches long and I'm like, I'll put my project bags in there and put it alongside me so I can stay organized and say, okay, these are the project bags I got to do. But look at how nice this is. They gave me a tape measure. I'm like, I'll use this. I'm like, I'm going to put this in my purse right away. So I'm going to put that in my purse. And oh yeah, I bought a ton of this fabric because I thought I'm going to make gifts. Who knows, maybe I might even give one away, you know, in one of my orders, in one of my, you know, one of my stuff. Here, I bought more of this fabric. I bought a lot of that fabric. I thought that fabric was fun. Then I also bought some wool. Look at how pretty this is. I thought this was so pretty. I want to make, I want to use this for maybe the, um, for the new bag that I made today. Oh, that bag is amazing. You guys, I have got to, I, I'm going to post it a little bit. I posted it already. And it's funny because people bought it, even though I just put a picture of the fabric. I didn't even make the bag yet. It's in, you know, the patterns up here in my head. You know, I don't usually write anything down. It's all in my head. It's all a visual thing. But I thought I would make hearts out of, do the, you know, make the hearts. You know how I make the, the pattern, the pal with my hearts? Ding, ding, ding. Um, I thought I'd make hearts with this. I thought that fabric was fabulous. And then, oh, and I also bought it. Oh, I bought an extra, um, I bought an extra kit. Okay. And then I also bought from them and it's called the 1894 Cottonwood House. I bought this. If you can see it. Here it is. Here, here's the picture. It's, and of course it's wool because it, like I said, there wasn't a whole lot of, I, it's still sealed. So. I'll probably have to look at it later. So I bought that. I had to have that. I'm like, oh my God, I love houses. You know, I love houses. So that is pretty much it when it comes to the haul for my um uh, for uh, my quilt quilt for my quilt show that I went to on Thursday. That is haul. That is you should see it. It's a big pile here. Just like woo, big pile. So that was 25 minutes long. <laughs> Thanks for still sticking with me. Now I can show you my new bag. And the new bag is called, um, I'm going to call it um, Web of Roses. And it is super cool. I really like it. Um, just really, really cool. How many people just want something elegant but for, um, for fall and Halloween, but don't like the witches and the goblins and things like that? Or, um, they don't really care for Halloween. I, I know a lot of people don't really care for Halloween, and that's okay. I, I I understand, but they love fall, and they still like the colors. 
Um, I have friends that are like, oh, I don't really, you know, I'm not really into Halloween, but I love the colors. And I agree. I love the colors too, but I like Halloween. Um, anyways, uh, I, so I made this bag and it's called Web of Roses. And it, the, here it is. It's super cool. It's great. Oh my God. It's got orange flowers on it. It is beautiful. I absolutely love it. So I made it with three different zippers because, you know, I always have to try out zippers to see what they look like. So my samples will show the, um, will show my, um, zippers. Um, and I, if you want a certain zipper, put it in the order and say, I really want one of those zippers. I want an orange one. I want the black one. I want the gray one. I want the red one, blah, blah, blah. whatever zipper you want. I, I don't give you a choice because a lot of times, um, people really, I mean, maybe 10% of the people who order want a certain zipper. And I am perfectly fine with that. I have a wall of zippers that I call, I call it a wall of zippers. And I have a lot of colors and if whatever color I don't have, um, I will get it. And uh, my zipper lady is great. She lives close by. So she gets me the zippers. Usually, you know, if I have to special order them, takes a couple months, but I get my zippers what I need. Uh, I have, I had to order a candy apple one and, um, I, uh, it's really cute and it's going to be for hollow or for Christmas. So anyways, if, I hope you guys saw my Christmas bags, but this is the web of roses. Here's the, here's the one with the black zipper. Here's the one with the gray zipper. And here's one with an orange zipper. I, okay, so don't everybody freak out and say, oh my God, she's got what is on her bag. Ah! No, everybody's screaming at home. This is the salvage. This is my bag because I sometimes love the way the salvages look and I like to put them on my bag. So don't get excited. You won't have one like this um, unless you want one. If you want one, uh, I'll have to specially cut it. I have to specially fussy cut it and I only have, I would only be able to cut one or two of them. So if you want one, speak up now. Um, anyways, this is my bag. Um, this is the salvage. If you guys are familiar with salvages, uh, I know I've explained it before. Salvages show how many colors go into the fabric. So uh, this salvage is very beautiful. It's got bats and spiders on it and each color is a different color. That's the color that went into the fabric. So, you know, you have a light gray, a light orange, uh, you know, a different color gray. There's, you know, it looks like there's five, four, diff three different, four different color grays. Then it looks like there's a little different color black. This, these two color oranges. So these are all different colors that went into the bag or into the fabric, not the bag, but into the fabric. And I like to sometimes, um, put it on my bag. <laughs> it's just a thing that I like to do. So don't everybody get excited and go, Oh my God, she's got a salvage. Ah! No, that's not the case. It's just my bag. That's the way I like it. So anyways, I have the orange, orange zipper, the gray zipper, which is, um, I think it's more like a steel gray. And then of course the black, and these are some beautiful, beautiful bags. Um, I will be putting them on my website. Um, like I said, people bought them, even though I put um, just a picture of the fabric. I really appreciate that, that they trust me enough to say, Denise's choices are really nice. I'm sure she'll do a great job. I appreciate, I bet you I sold five bags already without even a picture of it. And I, I was just like, really? <laughs> I like that is really trustful and I really appreciate that you guys do trust me when it comes to fabric. I love fabric. You know that I love different fabrics. I love different. I love, I love bags that are just awesome. So anyways, this is 28 minutes. Oh, oh yes. I forgot. I forgot to show you the pals. I did make pals. Yes, I did. I made pals. Here's the pals. There's one with an orange heart. There's one with a black heart and, uh, the zip, the, pa the pals will have their cams, the, the cam snaps. I have a flower for a orange flower for this one. Oops. And I have a pumpkin. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the pumpkin or not for this one. I haven't really decided because there's really no pumpkins on it. It's more like orange roses, isn't it? So the inside, the inside panel is like a spider web and that's metallic. And then of course the backing. And if you look really, really close, that fabric has, um, has cobwebs on it. If you look really, really close. So they're orange 
orange flowers and and spider webs how elegant this bag to me says just was just elegant i just thought this was the most elegant bag i really do for halloween if you're not like i said if you're really not into halloween well you know there is spider webs all over the place but if you're not into halloween but you really like fall this is not really a fall bag but it's not really a halloween bag i consider it a halloween bag because i'm calling it the um, web of roses that's what i'm calling it i'm not calling it a halloween bag i'm just calling it the web of roses and this is the gray one and do not forget to use my 10 percent discount code even if you're a repeat customer a new customer a customer that hasn't been around for a few years um, I am getting out bags anywhere between a week and 10 days after you order it, maybe sooner. Uh, I will be taking a, a couple of days off and I never close my shop. Never, never, never close my shop. Um, those are the days that I don't ship. Even though it may say on that day that I'm going away, I will have it out before I leave for my few days off. Just so you guys know, I will be taking a few days off. I'm going away with uh, a girls weekend. Not my girls, but um, friends that I went to school with. I'm really, really excited for that weekend. It's in a couple weeks. Like I said, I don't close down the shop. The bags won't be late, but whatever you order now, I will get out before I go on my vacation or my staycation. It's not really a staycation because it's more like just a couple of days off with the girls. Okay, so that was about 31 minutes. Um, might be a, a little bit longer, might be a little shorter uh, than the last few. What else do I want to talk about? Oh, yesterday, me and my girls took a, um, we went and got our toes done yesterday. We got pedicure. Oh, that was so much fun to take the girls um, and do pedicures. You know, maybe someday they'll take me and I, I, I flipped for the bill, you know, because I wanted, I wanted to go and they were nice enough to come with me and they're like, sure, mom, we'll go with you. And I'm like, okay, well, you guys do tips, <laughs> do your own tips. I won't, I paid the bill. You guys do your own tips. But anyways, anywho, anywho. So I, I really appreciate everything you guys do for me and contact me, you know, don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, what else? Oh, I have how I have Christmas bags coming up. Um, I do have a really cool. It's called Dear Santa. I don't have it with me, but Dear Santa bag, super cute. It has it has on the inside. It says um, Dear Santa, and it has letters. Super super cute. I know last year I had letters to Santa, but this is totally different fabric. Um, it has some classic um, Santas on there. I have some Lori Holt bags with uh, her pure Perry. Um, um, uh, home sweet home fabric so i have those out in my shop i have some halloween um, wanda bags that i made last year and i have some extra fabric i have those on sale for a couple bucks off um and don't forget to use your 10 percent so you can even get it even cheaper and it is free 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 domestic free domestic shipping um i do ship anywhere in the united states i do um, ship there for free and that's my thing. I know I started it during the pandemic and I can't seem to stop. I, you know, I, it's, it's just pennies on a dollar when it comes to, you know, shipping. I'll ship it out. It's okay. <laughs> but, uh, I love you guys and I really appreciate everything you've done for me. I, me and Grace, and by the way, Grace is sleeping on my bed, snoozing in a big, big way. I should take a picture of it and post it and squeeze it in here. Cause she's like <sighs> on her back all spread out and their tongue hanging out cats with their tongues hanging out so i'm big in instagram follow me there like comment and follow me there um i've been doing more um uh, uh films and videos short videos and just having a ton of fun here you know i'm really really having a good time and you know family life is great and i am um, uh i have some other good news coming up hopefully fingers crossed have some other good news good news for myself and I'm just having a really really good time I really appreciate all the love and care that you guys give me and thank you so much and I love y'all have a great day